Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm letting myself do something I think every artist should allow themselves to do. Make art without any expectations. I'm giving myself permission today to make a bad painting. <laughs> And to be honest, it feels so freeing in a way. I'm not nervous to paint. I'm not worried about the outcome. I'm not intending to share this with anyone. Well, except for you and only if I want to. So if you're watching this now, I decided I'm okay sharing what I painted with you. There's so much pressure on us as artists to make art that is good enough for social media, shows in galleries, or to sell. And I've learned over the years that it is unhealthy for us to feel that pressure. It hinders our creativity and joy for the creating process. especially felt pressure on my artwork when I started to learn acrylic painting a few months ago. And to be honest, I'm quite unhappy with the state of my artwork right now. But there is a saying that helps me overcome this, and it's this. The faster you paint all the bad paintings, the faster you can get to the good ones. myself this affirmation each morning. I enjoy knowing that the faster I paint all the bad paintings, the faster I can get to the good ones. So today is all about creating a bad acrylic painting because that means I'm closer to getting to my good acrylic painting. it's good to create bad art. And when I say bad art, I mean art that you are not happy with. Art that you know you could do better with next time. In fact, I believe it's the bad art that we create that transforms us the most, that challenges us the most. always happy with what we create then we're staying in our comfort zone and not growing if we love every artwork we make we aren't challenging ourselves enough and maybe that's okay for some artists maybe you want to stay in your comfort zone and that's okay if you do but for me I want to grow my skills I want to become 
a better artist for myself. Creating art is my purpose, my passion. For me, creating art is a lifetime journey. I feel like if I'm always creating what's comfortable and what I know I like, that I'll get bored. My art will get stale and I won't grow in my skills. I'm actually kind of liking this painting. <laughs> I didn't think I would. I don't know, I'm still not sure. I know I like the colors in it. I like the greens and the, and the peach colors together. I like how there are some really dark areas and some really light areas. And I like the texture and the little details, but I'm still not there yet. I'm still not where I want my acrylic art to be. And I feel like I have a long ways to go, but I learned from this and that's what's important. That was the whole point of me working on this painting. <laughs> Just dedicating a day to paint without expectations and to create something that I'm not happy with. <laughs> that was the point. But yeah, I did learn a lot from this and I totally recommend you taking a day like this as well where you just create without expectations and for the whole point of learning and like getting all of your emotions out, your feelings out on canvas or paper and have your emotions and your feelings paint for you instead of you trying to create something worth selling or something that is like an artwork that you want to share with other people, like on Instagram and stuff. I'm not sure if I'll share this painting. I do kind of like it, but I'm, I'm just not, it's not exactly something I'm proud of, I guess. <laughs> but I can definitely see in this painting emotion and just my feelings. And I can see kind of a little bit of myself in it. I challenge you to spend a day letting yourself make bad art. Spend a day making art with no expectations. Have you done this before or will you? I'd love to know. Comment below if you do. Mm -hmm.